Over the past two decades, there have been some major technology advancements right inside our cars. Navigation systems, GPS, sat-nav, or whatever you like to call it, is one of the biggest. Then there has been the rapid development of in-car entertainment systems like Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, both of which have been around since the mid 2010s. These platforms allow drivers and passengers to integrate their smartphone's functionality with a car's infotainment system. The core features of each enable real-time GPS navigation, traffic updates, sending and receiving of text messages, voice commands, third-party apps, and in some cars, control of vehicle functions like climate control. Apple and Google have done what many automakers don't have the resources or capabilities to do. Automakers' core capabilities are making cars, and many are very good at it. The technology giants like Google and Apple, however, have used their extensive expertise in mobile technologies, software, and services to enable what has increasingly transformed into the connected car. But a new type of technology is shaping the in-car experience. Imagine planning a road trip with an AI chatbot as your co-pilot, providing information on parks, restaurants, and even EV charging stations. And what about accommodations during your journey? This is where the in-car experience is headed next. TomTom, Tom, a Dutch digital mapping company, is leading the way. Envisioning AI as a comprehensive assistant for both navigation and in-car services. The company is one of several that has been thinking about how large language models, or LLMs, the foundation for AI systems, can be used to provide a wide range of services inside vehicles. This includes being a navigation system for vehicles in the future, both for the road itself and for the digital amenities that vehicle dashboards have accumulated in recent years. Through a collaboration with software and services giant Microsoft, TomTom Tom is aiming to make car interfaces simpler and more intuitive using its own generative AI system for vehicles. Volkswagen, the world's number two automaker, announced at this year's CES that it would integrate ChatGPT into certain models through a partnership with automotive software company Serence. For example, Volkswagen's Ida voice assistant can be used to control the infotainment, navigation, and air conditioning, or to answer general knowledge questions. In the future, AI will provide additional information as it will continuously expand its capabilities. Amazon teamed with BMW to show off LLM-powered Alexa capabilities that serve as a conversational car manual to help drivers understand the functions of their BMW vehicles, as well as allowing them to control some of the vehicle's functions. Mercedes-Benz is another key player, developing its own Mercedes-Benz operating system to offer an immersive, intelligent in-car experience. The future is about transforming cars from mere transport vehicles to intelligent companions that understand and respond to our needs. Currently, one of the biggest challenges with the increasing digitalization of cars is how people interact with them. The experience is still challenging and clunky. It's just easier for people to use their phones to accomplish what they want, which comes with serious risks when operating any type of vehicle. As cars become more digitalized and connected, some aspects of driving are likely to become more autonomous. 
entertainment features, apps, and access to services inside vehicles are growing in importance. A survey by Salesforce at this year's CES found that consumers ranked connected features as almost as important as the brand of vehicle when they are looking for a car. But existing voice platforms inside vehicles don't always have the range of capabilities and contextual awareness to manage these types of tasks. Serence imagines its AI system handling queries from drivers that will plan birthday cards for family members as well as telling kids about dinosaurs. The goal, according to Serence, is to minimize AI's hallucinations and offer reliable contextual aware assistance. The aim for Serence is to help customers get their desired task completed while avoiding dead ends. An obvious point of frustration when it comes to many interactions between drivers and vehicles. Through an AI chatbot, drivers can make a conversational request to the AI to request things like lists of grocery stores nearby, restaurants, as well as entertainment options. This capability will provide the driver with much more context than current systems, but not everyone is sold on this type of functionality in the automotive industry. Harman, which is owned by Samsung, cited some challenges in car LLMs face around context and connectivity. The company cited issues around latency, meaning how fast the LLM can respond in context, as well as the availability of the LLM when mobile communications are weak or unavailable. Harman is more focused at the moment on applying AI to improve driver monitoring systems or DMS, a collection of sensors and software that seek to detect whether a driver's full attention is on the road and other features based around non-generative AI, meaning that it does not have to produce results based on a request from the driver. Luxury automaker Mercedes-Benz is also turning its attention to AI in its vehicles. It is integrating open AI into its Mercedes-Benz operating system or MBOS. Their approach is what they call a chip to cloud architecture as well as edge computing. This means establishing a baseline for what the hardware can do inside Mercedes-Benz vehicles or the edge and Mercedes-Benz intelligent cloud services. The company calls it a 360 degree system, which allows the company's technology partners to operate inside the system. Since vehicle ownership is a personal experience, Mercedes-Benz writes its own software in-house in order to control the customer experience and data privacy. Mercedes-Benz goal for the system is to offer a package of in-car entertainment options recently announcing a partnership with Audible Podcast. But the company is looking to take things a step further with its Mercedes-Benz DrivePilot autonomous driving technology. The technology, which is capable of SAE Level 3 autonomous driving, allows the driver to take her eyes off the road as well as her hands off the steering wheel along authorized sections of the road. The technology is currently available in Germany and has recently been approved for use in the US, in California and Nevada. The German luxury automaker calls DrivePilot, which uses cameras, radar, LiDAR and software, a game changer, adding that it is a fundamental paradigm shift in the in-car experience. Mercedes-Benz has announced that they will accept liability for any accidents caused by DrivePilot. Beyond autonomous driving, Mercedes-Benz believes that DrivePilot is key to enhancing the in-car experience by allowing drivers the ability to watch movies, 
read books and other activities while their vehicle does the driving. Artificial intelligence technology is evolving rapidly. It remains to be seen, however, for better or for worse. As always, thanks for watching. For more from the definitive channel for clean tech, e-mobility, and sustainability, make sure that you like and that you're subscribed to cleanearth.io.